All right, uh, so hello, my name is Andrew Morton. Uh, I'm a lecturer in uh, CS, and <clears throat> um, I've been asked to develop this two term, uh, two course project sequence for CS. Um, part of the reason that I was asked to do that was I was a former um, associate director and director of the software engineering program, which has been running a similar type of project uh, since, since it started. Uh, that, yeah, so anyway, um, the, so it's a, a two course sequence and you're expected to do both courses. Um, the, the main purpose is that it lets you work on uh, a more substantial project than you might get in another course or in a one term, say URA, or, or even say a one term co-op. Um, and um, you do this in a team, uh, the team size, uh, can vary three to five people as the target. Uh, the, um, the types of problems that you can work on really uh, it should be related to your CS uh, curriculum, what you're learning here. Other than that, it's pretty wide open. Um, another difference, I guess, with this is that instead of, uh, say, doing a, a USRA where you're w with one faculty member, it's more of a one-on-one -on -one uh, mentoring type relationship. I'll be the course instructor and with TAs I will give you feedback on your uh, on your ideas and we might bring some outside people in to help evaluate at the very end when we do demos and stuff. But, okay. Uh, in addition to working in a, a subject area that you really love like maybe graphics, um, maybe computational uh, audio or algorithms or artificial intelligence, there's, there's a whole list. Uh, of great things that are taught here. Uh, in addition to doing that uh, with a group for two terms, um, it also gives you exposure to uh, things like teamwork, managing a larger project. Um, you know, once you go past a, a coding project that's a thousand or two thousand lines of code, managing it properly becomes important, so you'll uh, get the tools for that. Uh, hopefully you'll gain some uh, critical thinking, sorting out what's a good idea, what's a bad idea, why things work or don't work. Um, and we will also uh, hopefully apply some of the concepts that you take in PD10, the uh, Ethics and Professionalism course, uh, to your projects. So the logistics are, um, the prereqs aren't listed here, but they are algorithms and operating systems. So you're going to have to be in at least 3B before you could do this, I believe. Um, and it's expected normally you would do this in your 4A and 4B term in the fall and the winter. Uh, potentially, uh, we could have um, groups that do it in 3B and 4B if that's their fall and winter term, say they're in like an eight stream co-op. Um, we'll, <laughs> I guess, uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. But um, the, I guess the ideal situation is you, you form your team in the fall and then you continue that project into the winter and then you're done. You've worked on it for eight months. Uh, this course is pretty different from others in that I'm not going to lecture you for 36 hours uh, over the term. Uh, there will be some lectures, especially towards the, uh, the start of the term. Uh, but the real goal is just to equip you to work on these, uh, these projects and uh, not to get in your way, but to help you do a better job than you would have otherwise. So uh, there, there will be some uh, lecture material more at the start of the term, some in-class exercises, uh, looking at uh, projects other people have done and evaluating why they're good or bad, looking at their presentation technique, that kind of stuff. Um, and there will be status checkups throughout the term. Uh, make sure that people aren't, you know, leaving their work right until, uh, I don't know, November, uh, for example. Uh, there will be prototype demos along the way in uh, both terms, the fall and winter terms, um, and presentations as well. So, um, there's, the, the, the ideas are really endless, they're up to you. Uh, I just threw some ideas that are related to projects that I've seen done in the past. Uh, so visualization tools, uh, I've seen this done for actually uh, Pareto front optimization. So visual, visualizing different, um, uh, uh, I forget the word I want, but uh, different optimization choices or visualizing large data sets, that kind of stuff is pretty hot right now. Uh, educational games. Um, you can do something like that. 
uh, develop a domain-specific language. You could uh, develop this tool that you always wish you had on your co-op, for example, so for code analytics. Um, in, say, bioinformatics, uh, you could do something like, uh, say, heart disease screening. For something like that, you're going to need some kind of outside expertise on that if you're, say, analyzing uh, an ECG, electrocardiogram, um, but that's been done in the past. Uh, some kind of accessibility aids for hearing impaired, visual uh, impaired, stuff like that, secure communication, and the list goes on. So um, just a little bit about the first course, which is just called Team Project One, uh, fairly descriptive, I think. Uh, we'll start by figuring out what's a good idea uh, for a project. So uh, you'll be asked to come up with project ideas and submit them, and then the class will evaluate them together. Um, we'll do a couple exercises, uh, smaller exercises in teams, help you to get to know people and figure out who you want to work with for this two-term uh, project. Um, guide you through selecting a project, give you feedback on what's been done before, um, what's a good idea, what's not a good idea, and risk assessment. Um, maybe you're being too, uh, too uh, what's the word, optimistic, uh, stuff like that. So, um, and how to deal with issues, like to foresee issues that could happen and to have plans to deal with those issues. Um, other than that, uh, we'll uh, look at defining your requirements for your project once you've selected a project with your team, uh, prototyping, um, project management tools, uh, things like continuous integration if you're doing a software type project. Uh, the management tools might not be as useful if you're doing more of a research oriented project or you're extending a, say, uh, a security protocol, but uh, we'll still cover that and there will be demos. Um, also, um, some people might be interested in, uh, if you do want to take this idea further after you've finished it, um, uh, what's, what's entrepreneurship about, how to make a business case, uh, how financing works for startups and stuff like that. So my goal there would be to bring in somebody from, say, the uh, Velocity uh, Startup Center and have them uh, talk to you, since they would be the experts rather than me and also evaluating what you plan to do and um, how computing ethics and law um, applies to that. And then lastly, uh, the Team Project 2 course. Um, most of this course is really about the implementation and getting ready for a demo day, which will be towards the end of the term. Um, but we'll talk about the design process and how to uh, navigate design choices along the way. Um, how to think about usability, fitness for purpose, uh, testing strategies, uh, stuff that goes into successful projects. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about uh, presentation skills, um, what makes a good presentation, having a narrative, stuff like that, uh, good use of uh, graphics, which I haven't done here at all, so I'm sort of violating my own, uh, what I'll be teaching. Um, and also, um, I envision that people will be doing a dem uh, poster, especially, that will be especially important for uh, a project that's not a software project that you can demo, but maybe you've developed a protocol or an extended a protocol. Uh, having a good um, poster will be important, so. And then there will be, this will culminate in a, a demo day towards the end of term. Um, maybe some of you have seen that done by the, the SE students here. We'll have something similar. Uh, so it'll let you show off your work to uh, students, faculty, public, uh, your, your parents maybe will want to come. And so that will involve posters, demos, presentations, and stuff like that. So it should be hopefully a really fun course. Uh, if you've got some idea that's been, you know, burning in your mind uh, since you started 1A, this might be a good chance to work on that for a couple of terms and see, see whether it's really that great idea that you thought it was. So. I think I'm way over my time limit.